Um, I mean, I don't care. I don't need it. I just really needed it to be clear to you, Paris. Okay, it was a long conversation, but essentially... I know, just fill me in a little bit. <laughs> essentially, I had told Derek and Kayla yeah. that I was going to... Because whether or not we had some form of working together throughout a portion of this game, yeah. I have too much respect for them to throw them under the bus. Just if I was on the block with any of you, I would try my best to keep it a clean game and right. not say, she said, he said, she said, he said, she said, and keep it more on facts mm -hmm. yeah. as to why I feel they're a bigger threat or why I feel that I would be more of an asset. So I had this conversation with both of them. Um, they both told me that I said, I'm not going to throw you on the bus. I'm not going to do any of that. Like, uh, There's a lot of things that we have. I'm not going to air all your dirty laundry, essentially. You want a pillow? Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. Hi. Hi. I said I'm not going to dare, in, uh, air all your dirty laundry, essentially. Mm -hmm. And okay. Kayla said to me, yeah, no, me neither. Like, I'm not saying anything bad about you guys. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I already knew that was a lie because yeah. I had already he heard some things that they right. were saying. But I was like, okay, great. Sounds good. And I kind of left it at that. Right. Today I've been in a pretty isolated, somber mood because, yeah. again, I don't want to fire back with the same ammo. I'd rather just be isolated and kind of just hope that the people that I've been working with for a long time in this game know me well enough or trust my word enough mm -hmm. because I've never done anything to go against it that that would be enough. But right. then hearing again more things later this evening, it kind of is just like obviously this is not the game that we can play. So yes. again, my thing is not throwing them under the bus. My thing is just setting something straight, straight. of things that I have heard about us. And that's okay. the only thing I'm coming at you guys with. Okay. Um, and you, I already yep. kind of had this conversation with you. But essentially, the first thing I heard is that for sure, 100%, if Liver I win the veto or win the HOH, the three of you are going up. Okay, that was the first thing I heard. Right. Logistically and strategically, that makes zero sense to me. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, one, obviously there are people in this house that are bigger targets than I. Obviously, last week Johnny was on the block because of his big-ass target on his back, and he and I are, you know, working our, reestablishing our trust. Derek right. is a huge target in, right. for me in this house. Why on earth would I want to keep him off the block? And the thing that's contradictory to me is that I had a conversation with him saying this candidness that I was going to give him a heads up that Kayla was kind of campaigning a little dirty, blah, blah, blah. He said, I don't care if there's a bigger target on my back. I know I'm completely alone in this game. I know that I either have to win or I go home. But ultimately, just so you know, if obviously Kayla goes home, I'm still with you and live. Okay, well, you just okay. said you were alone in this game, but now you're saying to cover yourself that if Kayla goes home, you still want to work with Liv and I. He said that? Mm-hmm. And now he's denying it to Will. But he literally said that to him. Did in you ask age, him? In his yeah, H2H he room. denied it. I wouldn't remember I brought yeah, it up Yeah, so him. maybe we should call a house meeting. And because he's denying that. And yeah, Johnny, like you shit. even Johnny walked in on that conversation. <laughs> Fuck, we are the season of house oh, this meetings. This is the, in the HOH? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We walk, you walked in on that conversation. And I was, remember, you, you said something heard about me asset? Say, I heard you say asset. Or you were, remember you heard me say, just give you a heads up. Yeah. Sorry, can I just interrupt for a sec? What's going on? Uh, just Basically, I, I started just from Ellie and I having a so one-on-one -on -one conversation. Yeah, she's just <laughs> filling me in on what they talked about. But yeah. like, so basically, we are being filled in right now. In. Because you're being lied to? Is that like, you guys just... Because I want to clarify some things that I've heard about what our supposed plans are for the triple. Yeah. Their pitch is ruffling feathers. Which is also hysterical because basic math, almost everybody goes up anyways. That's yeah, what I was yeah. Four out of six, right? Exactly. And that's if someone wins the veto. And that's exactly. So for Watch them, there just, not be a triple. Let me just put this probably, out there. Probably. And this is going. all going to be very comical. But for, for them to say, we 100% have your back, we're not putting up, we're not, that's bullshit. That's I'm not what gonna they say. Say, I'm not going to sit here and promise you fake bullshit because logistically it doesn't make sense and also it's not up to me. It's up to whoever wins the veto. Because mm -hmm. I can put certain people up, but if somebody else wins the veto, I have to do something based on whoever won the fucking yeah. veto. I can't mm -hmm. just sit here and be like, I promise you, I give you my word, you're not going to That's touch a good point, off. though. Whoever wins off. the veto can pull someone off, and then those two control the votes regardless exactly. of what happens. I can't. And part of what we were talking about, too, which I think is something that people have been overlooking, and sometimes myself included when I consider my options, I'm not going to say that I am it, I'm the epiphany of this mm -hmm. whole thing. I'm not even close. If, you know, it's not just the three nominees that run this race in the, probably the race in the veto. Mm -hmm. It's six humans, including the HOH. There's only one person that sits out. So one of us sits there going, fuck <laughs> my life. But one of us who was not initially nominated can go up. 
and go into home. the veto. No, can go in. Yes, but it can go into the veto and win. Oh, mm-hmm. I was never in danger, but now I've put the pieces in the and holes like Kevin did last year. And, exactly. and I take my bestie off the block. It's not even about being up on the block. It's about, like, it's about the veto. And, and what, it is, what is important here, though, is that you got, like, you stay, she takes up one of the spots of the safety, the only spot of guaranteed safety. Mm-hmm. Kayla stays, she takes up the only spot of guaranteed safety. Like, those two still have each other, you know what I mean? It's the same, so then it's the, the all same of us, it's the exact same yeah, fucking equation. Yeah. Except that they're. And the only thing that I can probably. And Liv is her own player, and she'll have conversations with you separately, or mm-hmm. she can vocalize it now. The only thing that I can give you my word on is that you won't sit up there, all three of you together. Might be combinations of two. I don't know. That's all going to depend in the moment. But I can't tell you, no, you're never going to touch the block. No, you're never going to touch the block. And the thing is, you guys can't say that to me either. No. And they can't promise you that. One no. of you has to go up. If yeah. Ali goes home and Johnny and I go up, one of you's up. Yeah, yeah that's and what they said. One, one of them win the veto. The two of you are up. Yeah. So it just makes no fucking difference. So to have that as a dispute as to why you should keep them doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, that's what they keep saying. The three, two of you are 100% important. Three of us up. And they said, and like, when did, with when the live, tell Liv about the Erica meeting. Like, how do you like Oh, yeah. I think I kind of just did. What? Okay. But Paris doesn't okay, know this. Okay, yeah, I so, need to know this. Paris. Um, the whole okay. So the the night. Spell this out for me too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fully. I'm going to the night that Erica got oh, yeah. evicted. Obviously, that was not. Should we have them here because literally you say this and then they literally say the opposite? Sure, I'm down for whatever. I don't give a fuck. Sure. That Lev is and ready. Also She's got the... her hair in a bun. <laughs> she did what happens it though? Have. Oh my god, Johnny. <laughs> that I want to clear. And the also the last I'm night. I'm rent for this. Well, okay, no. Ali, maybe just finish telling Paris what you... Sure, yeah. We, we got the quick me. version without any extra yelling. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's fair enough. Because yeah. they're going to be like, uh-uh, interrupting me every five minutes. Yeah. Okay. So and it night- actually was nice to hear it like a play-by-play. I want to hear it too. Yeah, okay. So the night uh, of Canada's twist. Right. Ryan coming off the block. There had already been... Um, Dela had already kind of asked us because they saw Johnny and Erica getting very, very close. And they knew we were close to them. They yeah. had already asked us because they had heard from other people. I don't know what's true and what's not, but they said they had heard from other people that they were targeting them. And we said to them, all I can say... They being Johnny and Erica targeting... That they were targeting them. Or that they were talking about them. Not even targeting them, but targeting them. But we hadn't fully disclosed anything at that time yet. Okay? What happened from there was the fact that we kind of said to them, well... What we do know is that it has been pressured on us, or it has been insinuated that we take a hit on you Mm -hmm. from them before the triple. Yes. Which is where we kind of confirmed that that was kind of a thing. But you already know all this, so don't even act about her, because we already talked about it. Okay. Um, So we, yeah, so that happened, okay? Mm -hmm. And so basically when the switcheroo happened and she pulled everybody into the pantry, I went in, and she was like, I'm putting Erica up. And I went, (sighs) Paris, that was when, you know, you and I were standing next to each other, and Kayla called out to me. And all three of them were already in there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I went, ooh, I think that's a little soon. Is that not a little soon? Because I felt loyalty to Erica. And although I found her to be a very big target, I had no intentions of going after her that soon in the game. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because I still, even though I knew she had some trust issues with me, I still felt like she was still a number you for me. You weren't a priority on her list. Yeah, I was. I didn't mm-hmm. feel that. But, yeah. okay, so she's put Erica. We're going to put Erica up. And I went, ooh, I think that's a little bit soon. I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Call Liv. And that's when she called Liv in here. And she's like, Erica, she's like, ooh, okay, well, if it's your HOH, so if that's what you want to do, we'll support it. And then I said, okay, well, this puts us in a, t- in a pickle because mm-hmm. there's other people that we're working with that are going to feel like, what the fuck, you just, like, yeah. went out, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay, this is what we're going to say. We're going to say you said that this. you put, I said this, okay. you know, put us, you put us in a predicament where it's either, either you or Liv go up unless you vote out Erica. And that's what we told the house. And that was a lie to protect kind of that us for a minute, yes. okay? Then when we had our house meeting, our ninth one of the season yeah. in the HOH, and she called all of us out, then me and Liv came back after to talk to Dayla and Johnny on our own. Mm-hmm. They, ex- they exposed that lie, and, and then Johnny said, oh, so that was a lie? Was your crying a lie? And I said, no, the tears were genuine because I was upset to see Erica go. I had no intentions of coming after her that early in the game. But the lie was a lie to try and protect us a little bit because there was still a I little- literally dazed up before you said Johnny, but like... What was the lie? <laughs> I know, I don't know. The lie the was, lie that was saying that it was upset. either you guys go up or oh, yeah, yeah. unless you vote Erica yeah, 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 out, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay with me. I know, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I heard pool cues and I was thinking they were downstairs. I was just okay. Um, so then that that came about, and then we were like, okay, fine, yeah, that was a mm-hmm. ruse, just so that Johnny wouldn't be so infuriated with us kind of thing, right? Yes. Which it, uh, he ended up being anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But then today... So it's all out public knowledge that that was a lie. But then today, they approached Will saying, 
they never were going to save you. They oh, yeah. only saved you because we forced them to, because we told them it was either them going up or Erica, if, unless they voted they out Erica. So it's like, wait, what? We already admitted that that was a lie. Now you're reusing that lie to try and get Will's vote? Like, it's just that kind of behavioral thing mm -hmm. that is completely untrustworthy. Yeah. Like, where? what is it then? Like, yeah. and then for them to say... They said to some of you, I know. Like, I want to see what they have to say back to this oh, because fine. they tell us one thing. But you thing asked me and to then... catch you up, so I'm sorry, catching sorry, you up. Going. Because when we go down there, it's going to be a screaming match, and okay. then you're not going to. I don't be, think she's going to defend herself. You're going to be even more confused than you already are, okay. right? So okay. I'm just trying to catch you up. Good. I okay. Love sorry, keep going. The other thing that I believe they've said to you, some of you, well, correct me if you're wrong. They said they're not going to put Derek up. They're going to keep Derek. They want to work with Derek. They're going to put the three of you up. Right. Right. Because. Yeah, because if okay. Kayla stays, they're going to get rid of Derek before they get rid of you, right? No. What the fuck kind of argument is that? And second of all, Derek. we are not going to work with Derek. There's no way. One, they threw out the little bit of work that we did do with them. They threw us under the bus. We can't trust them. Mm -hmm. Two, in front of us, they say, and Johnny, in front of Johnny in the room, they said, we trust Allie and Liv. They're the only people we have in this game. They're the only people we want to work with. We don't trust any of them. We never have. Well, well they're floaters. We need to get them all out. But now the story is, yeah. we've had your backs the entire time. Liv and Allie don't trust you. Da, 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 da. They're the we only two them. that said that they're putting you three up. They're the only two that said directly to us. And Paris, I already explained this to you. We were in the white room. They were panicked before last week's eviction. Like, okay, I know we were doing this, like, whole... This is when you said Paris was folding clothes. We're Paris back. was here folding okay. clothes. Yeah. But right before that, I w we were getting ready in the red room. She's like, okay, I know that we've had this whole, like, triple, triple, triple thing, but, like, just so you know, we're putting the three of them up. You guys are down, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. What are we supposed to say? As we yeah. have sure. all said... But I came directly sure. into here afterwards, yeah. and I looked at you, and I said, what? Paris, if I win the triple, I'm putting up Dela and Maddie. Mm -hmm. Did I or did I not say this yeah. to you? Right. Okay, my another question that I have is who who was the one last night saying the three of us can move forward even when Kayla leaves? Was that you or was that Derek? Cuz it's like two Who's different. The three of us? What? Yeah. Oh, he just said he didn't say that. Now he's saying he did say it? No, I'm saying who, I was wondering who like oh, no. whose idea I had, was it? I had like I literally went to Johnny and I went yeah. to Olivia and I said I want to have a, con a conversation with Derek. Tell me what you guys yeah. think. Yeah. I just want to say to him, like, listen, Derek, I know Kayla's campaigning. Oh. I know she's got to do her thing. And I don't expect anything less. She should. But I'm going to tell her that I want to just keep this clean. Like, I'm not going to be slandering her name or throwing her under the bus or anything like that. And also give him the heads up that she's saying things like, anybody who votes against Derek next week is going to be on the wrong side of the vote. Because it's building a bigger target on his back. Yeah. Thus, it's going to isolate him even furthermore. Did I not ask you that in the bathtub? Yeah, you said you were And then I that. asked you that. And then you were like, yeah, that's a fair conversation. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have that conversation with him. So I had that candid conversation with him. I was like, I just want you to know like I know she's got a campaign and I know she's got to do this blah, blah 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 but I think it's building a bit of a bigger target on your back by saying these things and da, 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 like I don't know and he goes I don't care the target's on my back it's already huge I already know I'm alone in this game I already know that I have to win or I go home but ultimately if Kayla does go home I am still with you and live and I was like sure mm -hmm. because again what am I gonna say yeah. so he was the one that said, he said I it. am still good he with said it you he's like I would I'm still good with you and live He's like, okay. obviously, I still got you and Liv. That you're not alone in this game. So was it you or was it him that said, we still have each other? No, Paris. He said, I'm still with you and Liv. I said, I just don't want you to feel alone, alone. in this game. Okay. And that's me on a human level. And I've yeah. told you guys a thousand times I don't like when people feel isolated Avian or it, yes. alone. Yeah. So that was my response. I was okay, like, okay. ultimately, gotcha. whatever happens, if she does go, because I know it's it's like if Liv left. Yeah, I feel like I would feel alone in this game. Yeah, so it's so in it was the context me's... of Caleb being absent. You don't want him to, to feel... feel alone in this game, like as a human. Okay, you know. But this was after he was like, I obviously but still got you in there. to get the triple. Yeah. <clears throat> but this was after he said, if she leaves, I still got you and live. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody clear. Yeah. 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 So that was that. And then he came in, and then Kayla came in, and then I had a conversation mm -hmm. with Kayla, and I said to Kayla, I, it sucks, how are you? How are you holding up? I was like, we had a good run, it was fun, may the best woman kind of win kind of thing. And then I said, I just want you to know I'm not going to be throwing you under the bus or slandering your name or doing any of that nonsense, da 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 mm -hmm. And I meant it. Mm -hmm. And I spent the entire day in isolation. I didn't campaign to any of you. I didn't talk to any of you. Mm -hmm. I kept to myself entirely. Mm -hmm. Then when I finally get the energy or the mood to get back up, I start hearing some more fucking bullshit, and I'm kind of just over it. <laughs> 
Yeah. And at this point, again, this isn't me throwing them under the bus. Mm -hmm. This is me clarifying yeah. the things. Throw them under the bus, though. But this is yeah. how I'm doing it yeah, because yeah. I don't feel that I need to start pulling but out dirty things. Are... No, but like... what I'm confused about right now is why you're defending yourself. I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> because I know all of you guys are all so good with Dela. Like, when they have a conversation with you, you're not like, no, I don't want to work with you. You go along with it. So I don't yeah, really know why she she's on trial right now. You say, I don't feel like I. She's not on I trial. hope that I didn't make you feel like you were no, on trial. No, I, I don't feel like I'm on trial. I think it's just like. It's lying about us and spreading lies about us because they're saying one thing we're saying another and we're not the yeah. one on the block you know what I mean and I know yeah. it might feel so like you're on trial but so I don't yeah, think that that's what trial, the intention of this no it's just like I'm, I'm clarifying these things and I have nothing else to give you guys like okay. I can't convince you anymore mm -hmm. I'm not the one who has lied to you yeah other than the Erica thing with the whole thing I'm not the one who's been in fucking how yeah, many that's alliances yeah we're asking Ali about that kind of stuff because if they're saying one thing that Ali's saying clarifying me, that's what I'm clarifying saying it. I'm clarifying 100% but, but there, I'm just saying because there seems to be a lot of emphasis on what Derek said explicitly to Ali about moving forward you guys seem to be very concerned about that I didn't even know about it until you brought it up to me yeah, well, I'm just putting it all out mm -hmm. there so that... You know, I'm not saying that's bad. If they try to throw that to, you know what I mean? I just want to clarify. No, Liv, that's also, like, yeah, another thing they about are, them saying they didn't. So it's just I like to find out, like, did they oh, or did they... It's, yeah, because yeah, it's like, if you're lying, it's like, I want... Not you, but them, if they're lying, I want to know that they're lying. Because like, they're... Being, why are we shocked they're lying? They've been lying this entire game. Like, yeah, yeah, I. that's the part that kind of frustrates me, too, because I feel like... Questioning. Just clarify. I get why, because this is Big Brother and everybody lies, yeah. and I think that you are entitled to ask for clarity, and like I explained to Maddie earlier, I think I'm just a little bit, today I was feeling a little bogged down, defeated, and almost completely over it, just because, I, again, I do feel like I have been working with some of you for much longer than this whole ruse or the triple or whatever the fuck that was. And even though there's been some doubts, like Paris, you and I have talked about whatever our doubts were in between each other, mm -hmm. I've never really done anything or gone out of my way or you know what I mean like I just don't get why it's such a hesitance to trust my word over somebody who's proven to no, be no, disloyal no, and dishonest say, directly when you were out to there, you I said if you want to catch me up on things I mean like it by no means was I like you're on trial let's clarify things I just said you got you no, and I had, I had, had a long intentions. conversation I had if you intentions. want to fill me in that's all I said if you want to fill me in Feel free. Yeah, no, I didn't I say you sit intention. here and answer questions. No, like, I didn't. I never said you said that. I never I, said no. you said that. Yeah. I and I had full intentions of catching you up. Yeah. The I thing just said, is, let me it know really started with a to. private conversation with Maddie, yeah. and then Will came in, and then Johnny came in, and yeah. it turned into a thing. Yeah. It wasn't like, hey guys, let's have this conversation. Mm -hmm. Of course. And not yeah. include Paris. It was. No, no, that. no, not at all. I was just saying, if you want to catch me up, by which is why I'm here, and I have now caught you up. Yeah. Unless you think I'm missing something. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah. For the most part, that's it. Yeah. I just can't promise you anything other than the fact that the three of you will not sit up there together. Okay. And then variations <laughs> of things may or may not happen depending on who we're the be four of us. <laughs> God, please don't make this any harder on me Sorry, than it is, no. okay? All right. Mm -hmm. So that's all I can really offer. Yeah, of course. And that's all I can really say. And if you have any other questions, then I'm happy to answer them. I know they're going to continue to campaign and say that I'm lying. And ultimately, it's up to you to trust whatever you feel is in your gut. Yeah. And who yeah. you feel more comfortable with. Yeah, because if I know you were not on the block, and it's probably not right that short. But would you, like, not put three of us up together? Correct. Yeah? Mathematically, though, like you said. I kind of said that you are your you own or... game. Like, I did say, have your own conversations with her. Yeah, have my own, own plans. Your own game. But the fact that we obviously talk about things and we know that mathematically that doesn't make sense. So. Correct. You guys have to put Derek up. A thousand Correct. percent. There's no question about it. But there's still the opportunity of him to win veto. And I just want people to remember that. Yeah. Just because he's up yeah, there doesn't mean. Day day, Kayla's like, and Derek is going to win the veto if he could pull up. I'm like. And I'm gonna win the HOH. I was like, yes. You know what I mean? I was like, that's stupid to say. Yeah. She was like, because if Derek stay, he's, you know, the way she goes, he's gonna win the veto. I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, and I'm gonna win HOH. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, it's all hearsay, guys, until we actually kind of know superhero what's what. Superhero because you won a couple of comps. But like I also said, I would much rather move forward with you guys, who I've had relationships with, who I trust more, and who I feel, for the mm -hmm. most part, that mm -hmm. I have a fair chance of beating. Yep like fair even playing field right so yeah. that's all i got i don't know 
I don't know. If, I don't really if need, you guys feel like we need to host a meeting, I don't really. I don't really think we need it. No. I mean, Paris, if you want it, we can do it. It's just no. going to be a lot of, no, you said this. No, you said this. No, yeah, I said I'm this. I'm really thing. done with it's that. It's really going to just be he yeah. said, she said, and that's all it's going to be until Regardless Thursday. of whether, and this is only my opinion, and if other people don't feel this way, then that's okay. Feel free. It's not, you know, not one of us decides whether or not there's... I, I find it a little bit useless, in my opinion, just when it comes down to the specific... Because you can say, this is what happened here, and they can say, she's lying. Yeah. It's the same thing. It, it is. It's them saying, this is what happened here, and you saying, you're and lying. And that's what it's going to be until Thursday. It, as in individuals who have votes with Olivia included although we can probably guess it's she better <laughs> okay. we'll see um but yeah it's up to us to discern whether or not we feel like someone's being truthful and whether it comes via a scream or a conversation it's still the same shit that we have to think about absolutely in day Ross Dress and I about this triple one of us got to win in the house whoever it yeah. is shit's gonna happen so and like yeah. I said this to Johnny earlier and I don't know if it helps you and I think I said it to you today because I feel like all I know breathe sleep eat is this brother. fucking house and yeah. I just needed to be alone to remind myself through tears or through whatever that that is not the case yes and I'm trying my best not to lose myself in this game, and which is why I wanted to stay clear of the slander campaign mm -hmm. and the this and the that because that's not who I am as yeah, a they're person. Over there, they're slandering our names because they're over there calling us sheep, and that's one thing I hate being called like a floater or sheep because I don't know about anyone else, but I'm after so making. You asked Derek, and he said he didn't say that. No, I forgot to mention it to him, but I'm after making a couple of big moves that everyone can watch when they get out of the season yeah, yeah, kind of thing, and yeah. everyone yeah. knows. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's like they obviously see you as a threat too. Yeah, right? like, like she wanted to put me up on the yeah, black or otherwise. Exactly. She didn't put me up as a pawn. She put me up because she wanted me out. Yeah. The potential to get me out of fucking. That's what you do when you put someone on the block. It means you don't mind if they leave. Yeah, she made. Yeah, two that deals is what you do. That is what you do. So why would I accept a tar deal? For <laughs> That is what you do, Maddie. You are correct. Uh, I didn't hear what you said. You said As a person who has been on the block, <laughs> she's like, you put people on the block that you don't care if they accidentally no, go not, home. Not don't yeah, care. I hear you, Allie. <laughs> Devote. Don't. <laughs> don't. It wasn't Let's meant to start a fight. Let's all turn our rage on Johnny. No. It wasn't meant to start a fight. <laughs> just kidding. <sighs> but anyways, cold the triple console. argument is just irrelevant. That's what's irritating yeah, me. Yeah, like yeah. I just want you guys to focus on anything other than well, what because the triple to put it in perspective, if any of you three win, it's You're three out of out. us. Yeah, it's, it's three out thing. of the four of us. So it's nothing yeah. to get your panties in a water boat. Yeah, yeah, water. like you're 100 percent putting us up, and we know that. So, it's just numbers. Mm -hmm. It's just a weird argument to me. Is all. You know what I mean? Survival of the fittest. I know. I know. There's a large problem. Even if you don't put us both up immediately, or you don't put us up immediately, we're still gonna touch that block. If somebody mm -hmm. else wins the veto, that's not us. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so there's gonna be lots of us touching the block. So it's just like that's just such a weird argument to me. Mm -hmm. And to say that I 100% know, and I know she does this a lot. I 100% know that mm -hmm. the three of you are going up. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. You said that was your plan to me last week. When I never there was more people. When there was more people. Yes. So, what? Mm -hmm. That's all. Does everyone feel good? Does it, did that help at all clarify some things? It's just more information to think about, but yeah. clarification-wise, yes. Okay, good. I'm glad. P? Oh, yeah. Cool. Just wanted to be included. <laughs> You're always included, Bill. Thanks, baby. It was just bad timing. You were out down there eating... She was excluded too because y'all were eating pierogies. Eating, yeah, we came up once the again. Time. You chose food over conversation. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Is it weird if I go down there now and eat my pierogies or what? Yeah. No. Because they're just sitting there on the couch. Right. Right. When they're playing pool, I can hear the. Oh, okay. Cool. But I don't know. I thought I heard it. <laughs>